Hi, I'm Don Puglisi. I directed, wrote, and acted in this project. It is my second multi-hyphenate effort. I suppose you might call this an art house film, which to me means a more intimate story about real people and shot on a shoestring. I believe my background as a painter inhabits the look and feel of the film, particularly in the compositions and the choice of locations. If you're a fan of filmmakers like Guy Madden or Jim Jarmusch, I think you'll like this film. Also, the anti-hero films of the late 60s and early 70s have influenced me. Films like Five Easy Pieces, Midnight Cowboy, and The Conversation. So if you like those films, you're gonna love this one. It's a short film, 15 minutes long, filmed largely in black and white. I use color sporadically to heighten certain moments. The theme is redemption. The backstory is that a famous band's plane crashed in the mountains, leaving a lone survivor to fend for himself in the wild. And he has to do some unsavory things to survive. New York City. Need I say more? It's a place where films are meant to be made. I purposely chose locations that might not exist in the future. For example, Bikini Bar. I found the seediest dive bar in New York City and it's under the Port Authority and it may not exist in the next few years. One location we use that doesn't exist anymore is the sunset rooftop scene on 9th Avenue. Very happy to have gotten that because the sun will never set on that rooftop ever again because they put up a building. Because in my mind, a film is also a historical document. So perhaps if someone sees this film 50 years from now, they'll be thinking of it as old vintage New York. I'd like to thank my producer, Matt Florio, for putting me in touch with so many amazing people. For example, David J. Murphy, the DP on the film. I couldn't have found these shots without him. I'd also like to thank my editor, Barry Stelbaum, who made me look good as an actor. As far as the actors are concerned, I took a page out of Pier Paolo Pasolini's playbook in that I used real people mixed in with actors. For example, I used my real neighborhood bartender uh, for the character of my bartender in the film. I couldn't imagine doing it with a real actor. I can't think of a better way to thank the people who worked on this film than to get it out there into the world. But in order to do that, you need to raise $5,000, and that's where you come in. This will cover post-production costs, festival fees, and maybe I can pay back a friend or two. Take a look at some of the amazing perks you'll find if you contribute to this film. Thank you so much, and enjoy the trailer. <laughs>